So again, it's very normal for a baby to, to cry. So babies cry a lot. Um, there have been studies done that show how many minutes a day a baby cries. Um, the first two weeks of life, it's pretty constant. From two weeks to six weeks, the number of minutes per day a baby cries increases. At six to eight weeks is the peak of fussiness when a baby cries. Then it comes back down at about three months of life. So it's very normal from two weeks to six weeks for a baby to cry more minutes per day and you feel like, what's, what's going on? How do I settle the baby? Um, so I always recommend if the baby's crying to go through kind of a checklist of things to help you uh, soothe the baby. So first make sure basic needs are met. Is the baby hungry? So has the baby fed recently? If not, you might try feeding the baby. Is the baby have a soiled diaper? You might need to change the diaper if it's a wet or dirty diaper. Um, is the baby too hot or too cold? So feel the baby. You can feel the nose and feel the hands, feel the feet. Is the baby too cold? They might need an extra layer on. Um, if you've kind of done your checklist of the basic needs and um, the baby's still crying, they might be tired and need to sleep or they might be a little overstimulated and need to be soothed. Um, so there's uh, several ways to soothe the baby. Some people uh, refer to Harvey Karp's five S's as ways to soothe a baby. It's a good rule of thumb when the baby's crying to think about those five S's. So the first one is sucking. Sucking is a soothing uh, mechanism for babies. It um, helps them settle down. So you might have a pacifier. You could put your finger in the baby's mouth if they're crying. Sometimes just the sucking alone will settle a baby down. The second S is shushing. So babies really like the background noise. It's called white noise or a shushing noise. So it's just the shh sound. And sometimes you need to get the baby close to your ear I mean, you get close to the baby's ear and shh. So you have sucking, shushing. People will buy a, buy a white noise machine or maybe an app on the phone that has that white noise shushing sound. Um, the third S is swaddling. When their arms are out, they'll often startle themselves and wake themselves up and that can get them angry and make them cry. So a swaddle for a baby can help settle them. Oh, let's do a little swaddle here. We have a cord here, which will make it a little more difficult. Um, to swaddle a baby, again, make a um, triangle shape with the blanket and put the baby's shoulders at the top of the triangle here. You'll want to take one side, wrap it around the baby, tuck it in back, take the bottom, tuck up under the shoulder, and take the third side and snugly wrap the baby's arms so they're nice and firm in the swaddle. That positioning will often settle a baby down. And if not, again, you have your sucking that can help soothe them, the shh sound. And you'll notice the baby will go from crying to settling down. Um, the other two S's, so we have sucking, swaddling, and shushing. Um, one is swinging, so babies like movement. They're used to being in liquid, moving around for nine months, and they like the swinging. So people will often swing in a rocking, or be in a rocking chair, they'll buy a swing, a baby swing, or they'll just hold and rock their baby. But babies like that gentle back and forth motion. The last S is a side or stomach. So often babies, if they're crying in the position on their back, a little pressure on their stomach can help. So we often say on the, in the side position here, you can give a little bit of pressure on the belly and that can help uh, settle a baby down or move them briefly to their stomach position again to put a little pressure on the belly. We don't like babies to ever sleep on their stomach, but if they're awake and you're settling them down, you can put them on their stomach to settle them.